You try catching a short hop with a catcher's bit? Pearson, high chopper, back to Dickerson. There won't be a play at home, he's safe. And LSU walks it off in the bottom of the 10th inning to win it 7-6. to six. Tonight, I mean, Nick, have you ever seen anything like this? No, not really. And, and the amazing thing is, it's the same team doing it in, in exciting fashion like this. And you wonder. Infield to the left side of second base. Base is loaded, two outs. The one two to Campbell. Fly ball, right field, in the corner. And that's a hit off the wall. Ball game is over. And Texas forces a game three tomorrow. Twice in this ball game, Dylan Campbell is the hero. The homer in the eighth and a walk-off hit here in the ninth. We talked about it. Texas will go to the opposite field, keeps them on the slider, and you just saw the results of that again. Stays gets a one fastball, the hole at bat, and he drives it to right field. Unbelievably clutch baseball here today. Seven runs in the final three innings for Texas. This is the game-winning blow from Dylan Campbell, the sophomore out of Houston. He was 0 for 3 with a couple of A grueling regional in Stillwater, then a trip to Chapel Hill. Arkansas says they've got one trip left. Base hit! Arkansas is headed back to Omaha! It will be the 11th trip to the World Series for the Arkansas program. The seventh time under the direction of Dave Van Horn. What a ninth inning for both sides and a memorable hit for Brady Slavens. Oh, lefty, lefty Slavens just smashes this ball right back up the middle with playing infield in. There's a lot of room in that infield and he is able to find it and there's that game winner. What a comeback by Arkansas. It looked like the momentum had shifted to UNC side scoring in the ninth, in the top of the ninth. And Arkansas, the bats just came alive in the bottom of the ninth inning. From Stillwater to Chapel Hill, the Hogs will now be called to Omaha.